Hi everyone, Heather here from Burner Babies. Today we're gonna to talk about germs and our processes. So all of our processes here at Burner Babies are really focused around the health and safety of our dogs and our puppies. So here we do all of our picking of the puppies through videos. And that is done that way really because of outside germs. So newborn puppies do not have any real immunity um, to any outside germs. All of their immunity comes from the antibodies in their mother's milk. So um, obviously the mothers have been vaccinated, so they have little immunity to whatever vaccination she's had, any germs that she's been exposed to, etc. So they have a tiny, tiny bit of immunity, but it really is not very strong at all. So my job from day one, from the second they arrive, is to protect them um, and keep them safe and to keep them healthy. And I do take that job very seriously. So you as an outsider, you as a stranger, you carry germs that they may not be exposed to, that their mother may have never been exposed to. And that poses a risk and a great harm, potentially, to the babies. So why is that important? So let me just use an example. Um, this really happened, this, this truly did happen. Um, so when the babies are between three and four days old, I have to take them to the vet to get their dew claws removed. Um, I load them up in a basket. They are unable to maintain their own body temperature at this age, so I have to uh, put a heating pad in the basket. My car has an outlet in it, so I actually plug them in in the Jeep. And then um, when I get to the vet, there's a plug-in in the waiting room as well, so I plug them in in the waiting room as well. So we get to the vet, and I have a basket full of puppies on their little heating pad, and uh, a woman walks in. She's got a dog with her. It's a smaller dog. And um, she's asking me about the puppies, and we're talking about them, and the puppies are right next to me in the basket. And as we're talking about them, she goes to reach her hand in the basket to touch the puppies. And I freak out, and I immediately say, don't touch the puppies. And she backs up. So I see my vet on the corner of my eye and he just kind of grins. So why, why do I go into freak mode? Every red flag and bell and whistle are just going off in my head. I don't know this woman. I do not know this woman. I don't know why she's at the vet. She obviously owns a dog. Is her dog sick? Is he there for vaccinations? Does he have diarrhea? Has he been vomiting? I, I don't know. Honestly, I don't care. All I know is this woman owns a dog and she's about to touch my brand new three or four day old puppies. That's a no go for me. Anything that she would have on her hands, she's obviously touched her own dog. Anything that she has on her hands could be transferred to the puppies. The puppies suck on each other's ears, suck on each other's paws. You know, they're, they're looking for food. She can endanger that entire litter by doing that. Something as simple as diarrhea could kill a brand new puppy. I take this very seriously. Now my vet laughed at me, probably because I, the way I reacted, because I immediately abruptly said, don't touch the puppies. I probably didn't need to, but I'm not kidding. Every red flag and whistle was going off in my head as she, because she did not ask me. She did not ask if she could touch the puppies. She just went in to touch them. And so I freaked down in my head a little bit. But something so simple as diarrhea, or if the dog had been vomiting, or if he was late on his vaccinations and had been exposed to something, all of these things are huge risk factors for my puppies. Your puppy. And I do take that very seriously. So a puppy is not fully protected until 10 days after they've had that vaccination. Well, they get their vaccination at six weeks. So not until seven and a half weeks are they protected with that one vaccin vaccination. And they're really not even truly genuinely protected until they've had all three rounds of that distemper parvo shot. <clears throat> so I take it very seriously. When you guys come here, even just to pick up your puppy, after you leave, we spray everything down with a disinfectant that kills parvo, distemper, um, you name it, your, your common dog diseases, just in case. 
we do ask that you not stop at Petco or PetSmart or um, the dog park right before you come to Burner Babies uh, because you could bring something on your shoes or your hands. Um, I'm not saying that Petco and PetSmart aren't clean. I'm just saying, you know, sometimes dogs have accidents there. They may clean it up, but they might not clean it up with the right stuff. And then you step in an hour later, right where that dog may have used the restroom. And then now you've got something on your shoes. Um, this, this has actually happened to us. That's actually why we changed our policy. It was not something that I ever wished to go through again. Um, and so it was a hard lesson for us to learn um, here at Burner Babies. For seven years, this was not our policy. Um, and for the last several years, this has been our policy. Um, these puppy diseases are not something to mess with. Um, and so it's, it's something that really, as a new puppy owner, you really should um, be aware of. So places you do not take your puppy after you, take, you get them home. Petco, PetSmart, animal shelters, the dog park. Even when you go to the vet, if you could hold your puppy um, in the main area, in the waiting area, and then only when you um, get into the back room, if you could put them on the table then. That table is usually sanitized in between um, guests or visitors, customers, whatever you wanna say. Um, then you can put your puppy down. Your puppy is not fully vaccinated against your standard puppy diseases until they've had their 12 week shots. And remember, it's not act fully activated until 10 days after that. After that, you can take your puppy anywhere you wanna go to the dog park, to the groomer, um, things like that. And most places uh, won't actually take your pet, like the groomer, puppy classes, things like that, until they've had their all of their shots. So um, germs are really just something that I need you to be aware of. Um, I wouldn't be scared of them, um, but definitely just be aware of them. So I just wanted to kind of touch base on that, why our processes are they, why they are, why our processes are they, the way they are, if I could talk right now. Um, it really is to keep your puppy safe. Um, if you're gonna interact with another dog, just make sure that if you're not sure if their dog is, dogs are fully vaccinated, just ask. Uh, fully vac vaccinated dogs tend to be safe. Um, if they're not fully vaccinated, I would um, maybe steer clear until your dog is fully vaccinated. So just kind of something to keep in the back of your mind when you first take your puppy home. Um, I am a huge germaphobe. The things that I've seen over the years as far as puppy diseases um, are not anything to mess with. The things that I've heard about are even more horrifying. Um, they're just really not something that you want to mess around with. You would much always be rather safe than sorry, in my opinion. And um, for me, I err on the side of caution. Um, I just want to keep everybody safe and I want to keep everybody healthy. Uh, you're always more than welcome to come and visit the sire at any point in time. Um, but once the babies are born, the mothers and the babies, um, we keep them safe and we keep them healthy um, by saying no visitors. Um, once the babies are born and they're here, um, it's a no visitor place. The only people they see are me, my employees, and my vet. Um, and that's it. So... Um, but once you get here, if you want to walk around and we can walk around outside and you can see everybody uh, that way, um, it's just where the dogs actually are, where it's a lot harder to clean um, from germs. We kind of just keep that a no-go zone. <laughs> so kind of on that subject, you know, you hear all these people that say, you know, any breeder who doesn't let you into their facility, they have something to hide. I feel like that is false. You know, now... That being said, there are a lot of breeders, unfortunately, that they probably do have a lot to hide. They probably need to be shut down, right? However, for the good people, it's not that there is something to hide. It's that there is something to protect. You know, um, I would just be absolutely devastated if a disease came through here and made my dog sick. You know, my adult dogs, the puppies are bad enough. You know, but my adult dogs, if something happened to them, they are my heart and they are my soul. And I would just be soul crushed if something happened to them on a on a mass scale where something ran through here and got everybody sick. Um, so it's always better to err on the side of caution. If you can, vaccinations are always the best way to go. Parvo is always going to be your number one threat as a puppy who is not fully vaccinated. 
keep them off the ground um, if you are not sure if other dogs have been there. No going to the dog park on your way home. If you have to stop and go potty, always stop somewhere where it does not say, you know, if it says dogs go here, you take your dog clear over there. Um, I always tell people stop at a Burger King or McDonald's or somewhere where dogs normally don't go. It's usually safer. You know, don't stop at a rest area or a truck stop or something like that. Stop somewhere kind of unconventional, you know, um, where it's not typical that dogs go. It's always safer, especially when they have not been fully vaccinated. Um, once they're fully vaccinated, then they're much, much safer. So I just wanted to kind of touch base and tell you why our processes are what they are. Um, it, it really is for the safety of everyone. So uh, my little disclosure here, I am not a vet. I've just been a breeder since 2006. So everything in this video is just based on my experience. Um, like and subscribe below for any future videos. And uh, we'll see everybody soon. Bye, guys.